Hello, welcome to the Santa Monica Pier Aquarium. My name is Seth Mullins. I'm the aquarist here. The Santa Monica Pier Aquarium takes great pride in making homes for the fish, recreating their true ecosystem. We have the kelp forest. We even have a tank that represents what you'd see underneath the pier. Today we're going to take some time and highlight one of our newest exhibits, the intertidal surge tank. What makes this tank different than all the other tanks, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, waves. One of the ways we've created this tank is to actually create a device that simulates wave action. Let's take a look at how it works. What makes waves? Well, in the ocean, wind does. But here, we had to create a device that did it. Above the surge tank, we have this great tank. It's being pumped in water from our system, filling the bucket up. Once it reaches this black line, it actually has a U-shaped piece of plastic pipe that creates a suction creating a suction all the way down the pipe and into the tank. Let's take a look if you came diving with some of us at the intertidal surge area. Here we have a beautiful ochre sea star. He holds onto the rocks with his thousands of tube feet. These tube feet come in very handy. He also uses them to talk and eat with them. Here we have a beautiful California spiny lobster. These guys can grow quite large and reach over 30 years of age. Unfortunately, nowadays you won't see them that large. Here we have a beautiful young scorpion fish. Do be careful though, their top dorsal spines are poisonous. I hope you enjoyed this look into the intertidal surge tank. And please come down to the Santa Monica Pier Aquarium because we're constantly changing things up. Aloha.